Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 50 YouTube videos covering beginners, intermediate and advanced level concepts. From past couple of videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real time scenarios where you might encounter with different types of obstacles and how can we solve those obstacles while automating your test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. So I have already published 8 real time scenarios explaining the resolution for 8 different types of obstacles. This is our lesson 9 in terms of real time scenarios and this is our lesson 51 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca training. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. In this lesson, I am going to teach you a real time scenario where you need to interact with web tables and you need to drag and drop the rows from the web table to the new empty web table. So basically the rows within the web table are dynamic and you need to drag those rows in sequence order to the new empty table. So this is the obstacle we are going to solve. So let us first see and understand in detail what is the obstacle we are solving for. So this is our obstacle to do list. This is categorized as medium, but I can say it has a hard. Okay, so now let us go for it. So if you see here, so move all tasks from to do to completed in the order of their given task ID. So which means I have to drag the row from this table and drop here but while dragging I need to make sure that I drag in sequence order one this first row is first and then row with id 2 is second and row with id 3 is third four five six okay so drag the row with id 1 to the empty table and drag row with id 2 to the empty table, then id3, id4, id5, id6 and your automation problem is solved. So this is what we need to automate. If you see here, the rows keep on changing. See this is dynamic. It's not like static rows. See now you have id1 it almost like bottom right so this keep on changing okay so we need to drag the rows in sequence order with id number and drop into an empty table so how can we do that for that let's go back to tricentis tosca so now let us scan the objects okay right click on the obstacles select scan and application Now select the application, click on scan. So if you see here, this is one table which is to do tasks and this is another table which is completed task, right? So we need to drag all the rows from to do task table and we need to drop on completed task table, right? So here to do task table and completed task table these two we need to select so now these two are uniquely identified and i'm not seeing any orange color that means these two tables are now uniquely identified so now let us rename this module with the name of obstacle copy and paste it here 
Now save the module. Let's close the X scan. So let's go back to Tricentis Tosca. So this is the new module that we scanned. So you have a two tables. This is your source table and this is your target table. So now let us create a new test case. Let's go back to blue color section, which is test case section. Right click on the folder and create test case. Name this with the same obstacle name that we copied earlier. Double click on this. So now you need to drag and drop your module onto test case. Now let's observe carefully. So expand these all, okay? So here, if you see, I need to drag the row with the ID number that starts with one. Now let's select column. And if you see what is the column that ID exists, the column name is ID. So now what I'm gonna do, select column name ID. And now what is the cell value that I need to select? The cell value is one. So let me drag my first row. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna specify here simply one. Okay, the cell value one. And here, I'm gonna call a method called drag that we used in earlier lesson. Drag and change your action mode as input. Okay. I'm dragging my first row which starts with ID 1. And where do I need to drop? I need to drop in this table, completed task table. This is my completed task. So I can directly drop here. Open curly braces, drop, close curly braces. And here your action mode should be input. So let me simply save this. We have not completed automating everything. Okay, I just want to test this one. Okay, right click and run in scratch book. It is dragging the row with ID number one. Right? Done. But now, how can we drag rest of all the rows in sequence order? So what we can do here, I'm going to apply a method called repetition. Okay? How? So let me go back to my test case, right click and create a new folder here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to name this as repetition. And I'm going to bring my entire test case into this repetition folder. I'm just dragging and dropping in repetition folder. Now select repetition folder and expand the properties of folder. Okay, test case folder. If you see here, the repetition. How many rows we have total? We have total six rows, right? Right, total six rows. What I'm gonna specify here, the repetition as six. Now, instead of specifying the value one, now I want to delete this. I want to use repetition that we declared here. See, we declare repetition here, right? So simply copy this. And here, instead of one, I'm gonna use open curly braces, repetition, close curly braces. What it does? First, when I execute, your repetition value is one, right? It comes here, here, it takes one, it drags the row which has ID one and drops here. And this entire folder repeats six times. And second time it again comes here. This time your repetition value is two. It comes down here. Now the repetition value we already passed as two. So it's going to drag the row with ID two, right? And drops in the table. 
like this it's going to repeat for six times with one two three four five six as your value within the column cell okay i have selected column as id and here i am repeating the values from 1 to 6 so now let me run this particular test case and see what happens okay right click and run in scratch book first it's dragged and dropped number 1 now dragged and dropped number 2 and then number 3 in number 4 5 6 so you solve this automation problem so let me just repeat this again what we did okay so if you see here all my repetitions are passed so you can see here repetition 1, repetition 2, repetition 3, right? So here the repetition value it passed here. Okay. So let me explain what we did. Okay. First, we have selected a column as ID. Now, what is the cell that I want to select? I want to select a cell with id 1 2 3 4 right those are the values in the cell so those values are coming from this repetition folder repetition six times for the first time it comes as one it drags and drops for the second time it comes as two so basically you need to use a repetition folder if you don't use repetition folder then you have to repeat the same step six times and then you need to hard code these values as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So which does not make sense. So you can simply use a repetition folder to repeat 6 times. Drag and drop all the rows from source table to the target table. So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I will try to respond to your queries. Thank you. Hope you all understand the obstacle where you need to interact with web table and you need to drag each and every row from web table which are dynamic in nature and drop onto a new empty web table by using repetition drag and drop methods please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.